hey guys welcome back to another morning update hope you guys are doing great uh like always let's go ahead and get started with sort of what happened yesterday and just move on from there uh as you can see like i said uh yesterday in the discord update we'll look for london to basically consolidate and see if it, if it pins out into here to give you a short it did so then pull back into this uh area here which is the london session low uh, in the form of a double bottom then pinned up and there was your pin up on the uh and the stop pun on the new york session straight into a downward spiral ends the day here and then we get a really cool uh nice double top you could have entered into here your stop would have been here regardless of uh if you entered here or here uh but there was that into the downtrend rejects the 50 pulls back down sets up your daily imbalance at the quarter mark uh remember i talked about yesterday in the live stream that the marker uh the tops and uh well the session range for today is uh if i just do this <laughs> They won. I mean, this is a thirty-two hundred, and it was twenty hundred. There we go. There we there. Were, oh, not exactly even. Am I on log? Yeah, I'm on log. That's why. There we go. Nice and even. Out. Oh uh so essentially 50 percent of uh your weekend was uh between these two being your session ranges is uh here then you got 75 percent and 25 percent of that or whichever way you do it, it's 25 75 it doesn't matter all you gotta know is uh if we pin up into here try take out this but pin down and close below here we could look to go down and carry that momentum down into uh the uh targeting the weekend walls on monday if we sort of uh do that but end up just coming back down instead of uh breaking the lows established uh today uh if we come back into here and consolidate and end the day here we could probably look for it to try and try and jump up higher and look for it to pin uh down rather than pin up and close above to then try and target up higher and, and then target these areas here and target the liquidity up below as you can see uh we can walk here there we go 32 and 28 keeps it nice and even keeps everything uh trading nicely and we should i mean it's a weekend don't expect too much vol volatility but at the same time <laughs> uh you don't we don't know what's gonna happen because uh yeah, it's been a bit it's been a bit crazy couple of uh months or days rather so now let's go into here and I should Go into the chart and so look at it like this. So, no, don't want this. From this, uh, as you can see, there we go. From yesterday, we talked about that uh, as a level where it pinned up, close below, trades below, trades here below. Again, we're looking for it to reclaim uh, above uh, above this area here, but we're trying to be above this consolidation. And try and be find itself uh, something like this to then try push up then maybe find a resistance here and end the day around here and uh hopefully if we get that we can look uh stronger the next day and you can capitalize on that uh, it seems uh like consolidation is probably your best estimate in terms of what you want to expect uh for price uh so that's something that you guys might want to consider here's 50 percent of uh the two uh the daily level again comes in basically plus or minus in around uh where we are looking for anyway at 39 uh, 100 or 50 pushes up again we could look for this as a stop to run on these stops here as you can see the volumes coming in here to then try and facilitate a potential push back in and try to take out or at least uh, come to an agreement to say you know what we want to be above here we want to be at this level and then come back down again that's all speculative and depends on where price action comes 
looking at actual data and looking at what's happening now we can see the consolidation that we ha achieved here uh it's a very uh, a very low volume 750 at 30 i mean I usually expect these volume loss to be higher but it's a weekend so that's to be expected but we see again like i was saying yesterday when we have these really high points of uh longs being trapped it's usually a sign where we might get these pull in we get red starting to come in this becomes a buy what happens these buyers get run out uh, if they had the stops here then pull in same thing here uh, we're starting to see some buyers up top so we might have to be careful and uh at this point uh and i mean we do have buyers stepping in at these levels so i would be careful uh if we sort of uh try and shift this away uh it could look to take out the lows here it looks like a very weak and uh very poor low so that's something that you might want to know but also lastly, we could look uh, as you can see the volume stepping up so we're getting some interest coming in so if we can break above this so we can look at like something like that and maybe look stronger uh but that's yet to be seen looking at the four hour volume as you can see on spot we have a lot of people coming in and, and accumulating back on spot and you can even see that on the cumulative volume delta on uh on uh trading on book map oh, as you can see it went plus 600 on the family so there are there are some spot accumulations at this price uh, in the weekends when we're having this sort of uh selling and on the sort of and shorting on the spot so it does look like they're just adding positions uh so that's that's a good sign uh let's quickly run through some alts uh <laughs> i'm joking that's, that, that's not the luna oh uh what's a good alt we can run through uh look for Dot. let's do dot yeah uh like i stated on the uh uh live stream uh there was your uh potential to come down second leg entry here pushes down even gives you another one and come back down here maybe we stop uh stop a bit shorter and come up and uh test at this level here as we see we stopped a bit short on this so it may look like we might not target the lower levels just yet might look like we're looking to uh be above this area here and it might be something where we can reclaim this so you want to look for where price does this and does not uh close here and reject down afterwards you're looking for it to close above and take out uh the red to then maybe even even take out the liquidity here to then maybe try and facilitate a higher price at uh 10.5 and it bounce out there to then try and take out these highs again that was your short from the live stream missed this total move i mean you could have caught this uh, if you were not asleep we did sort of mark it out on the live streams but there's that nothing sort of too out of the ordinary there again closes off this bar takes out the liquidity mm, again it, it's setting up nicely it doesn't look too bad uh from my point of view uh we might as well mark this here as you can see these clusters uh it's points of rejection coming down to the hour nothing to mark yeah nothing to note even on the 15 minutes or so let's see if we can grab something uh yeah there we go like i said if it comes in and closes up that so we can mark that off as, as that so there's that willingness and uh i think that's the one hour close if i'm not mistaken there we go yeah just about the one hour close so if we go back on the one hour well, it doesn't show. Okay. Uh, okay. Go here. Pretty all time frames. Go back into the one hour. Comes in, like I said, about the one hour. So this, again, if it comes in, pins to here, closes below there, and it goes down. So you want to see something like this, then try push up. Uh, we even have the buffer at just like around 10.4, so we can even say if it comes in and does something like this we can then try and push this one up uh but yeah that's yet to be seen let's look at ethereum is pretty much the same as bitcoin i mean we can cover that on the live stream i don't know uh we'll do, we'll do another altcoin we'll do atom i think atom is nice here there we go as you can see atom came in target the weekly 
bunch of price action shop here but notice how the closes came in click came in clutch then push up uh we're trying to look for this uh 12.1 we haven't okay yet yeah. uh we sort of see where levels are uh right now and sort of see where we can look at price so we even came in the four hour here and we even got a rejection these two markers here so that's something that you want to know that if you saw that there's on the one hour you could come back down and took that short down and but it does look like we're trying to find some uh level of support here as you can see similar to uh what do you might call it similar to uh dot we have that volume node here as you can see stretch that across we're trying to push that across now we're looking for price to be above 11 to then maybe even target this uh trap liquidity see what it does here and see if it if it rejects if it holds above to then target higher and that's what you're looking for you're looking for above here maybe even reject down there to then target this uh but this looks pretty nice uh we saw this uh for all this four hour price action here below this stop it out here so worst case we can retrade back into here we if we take out this then i'd, I'd say you wait it out to, for it to then come back above a nine point uh six to then pull up but that's yet to be seen uh that's about it for today uh we'll cover everything else on the live stream so catch you guys at again different times it's now at new york close uh actually not it's not today it'll be monday uh we don't do weekends here catch you peace